For the second day in a row, Oregon Governor Kate Brown faced legal challenges over the state's coronavirus restrictions. On Tuesday, a federal judge in Portland denied an emergency injunction filed by several businesses alleging her stay-at-home orders violated their constitutional rights. The decision turned the focus back to the Oregon State Supreme Court, which is considering a similar suit filed by 10 churches across the state, including Ben Community Church, led by Pastor Stephen Williams. Again, we live in this constitutional republic where there's checks and balances. On Monday, a Baker County judge declared many of Governor Brown's orders null and void, saying they had exceeded their 28-day limit as set out in state law. I think it's an important discussion about Oregonians, how we can be responsible citizens without being treated like children and wards of the government. Brown slammed the lower court ruling on Twitter, saying it is irresponsible to dismiss the health risk and science behind our measures to stop COVID-19. The state Supreme Court temporarily blocked the ruling until it could review the case. The looming battle in Oregon is just the latest example of legal challenges to coronavirus shutdown orders piling up nationwide. Many governors and state leaders have found themselves dragged into court as citizens and businesses itch to get back to normal. And we saw the earliest challenges uh, really within days of the first emergency orders being adopted. Lindsay Wiley, law professor at American University, said the closest counterpart to the Oregon case would be in Wisconsin, where the state Supreme Court struck down its Democratic governor's stay-at-home orders on the grounds that his administration didn't have the power to do so without the input of the state legislature. But Wiley cautions. Um, I think it would be a mistake, though, to expect the outcome to necessarily be the same in the Oregon case as in the Wisconsin case. There are some similarities, um, but there are also some important differences in the state laws at issue and also some important political differences in terms of the relationship the state Supreme Court has had with the executive of the two states. In Oregon, Governor Brown's restrictions will stay in place, at least temporarily. The state Supreme Court has asked both parties to file arguments by Friday in hopes of making a relatively quick decision on this emergency motion. Kyle Aboshi, KGW News.